Welcome to episode 231 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host. And today we're going to talk about how to pass other people when it's raining. I mean, like physically, really tangibly raining water on the ground. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. All right. It feels good to be back in the studio. I'm so happy that we ha were able to do last week where I was in the car asking questions to my son in episode 230. That was a whole lot of fun. whole lot of fun. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. I don't know if you've noticed in life, but there are a lot of things that are not normal. Let's just put it lightly. There are a lot of things that aren't normal. There are a lot of variables. There are a lot of surprises. There are a lot of uncertainties. There are a lot of changing situations on a moment by moment basis, it seems sometimes. I mean, like I know you've heard about it, so I don't want to talk about it too much. The financial situation and the potential of a recession and supply shortages and the employment situation and all of the things. Gas prices. Did I mention gas prices? Let's get everybody excited and talk about all the fun things in life right now. I say all those things just to just to highlight the fact that things are different right now. Things, there's some uncertainty out there right now. And so a lot of people are like, what do we do? Do we hunker down? Do we just kind of huddle up and wait it out? Um, in business, I have a lot of friends who are business owners, so I get to be in the room a lot with executives and CEOs and managers and operators and small business owners. And so I'm a part of a lot of conversations and, and I see this whole broad spectrum of perspective. I see a whole broad spectrum of personalities and strategies and like thoughts on how people and businesses and organizations could and should move forward. And I heard a quote yesterday or a little, maybe it wasn't yesterday, a little bit ago from an F1 driver F1, if you don't know about it, F1 um, is racing. Not NASCAR racing where cars go in a circle around a track, but it's the kind of racing where you have those cars that sit really low to the ground and they have those big fat tires on all the corners and they kind of zip through the streets. Their tracks are through cities and through streets. It's called F1. And there's a, a Netflix series called Drive to Survive that has become hugely popular, uh, especially in the US. So the sport of F1 has gone through a massive renaissance and a massive you know, ign ignition, if you will, in the United States. And so I've been paying a little bit more attention to it. It's really about uh, these 10 teams and their drivers and all of the things that happen, at least in the US, these 10 teams and their drivers. And I don't actually even know. Are there only 10 teams? There's got to be more than 10 teams. But the series follows 10 teams and 20 drivers. And why I bring up F1 is because I heard a quote from an F1 driver. And the format is basically this in F1. There's qualifying, which means you drive a lap, see who can drive the fastest lap, and that determines, and there's some point system that I don't understand. Um, so forgive me. There's a system that says who gets to be in first place in the race and second and third from a starting position standpoint. So you start in a line. So again, not like NASCAR where the track is really wide and you can have multiple cars across as they're going around the track and passing one another, et cetera. Much different in F1. Track is a lot narrower. narrower. It's a lot more winding. There are a lot more hairpin turns. And it's just overall a difficult environment to pass somebody, as you can imagine. There's no real straightaways. And so this quote, I just wanted to set all that up to give you the context of the quote I'm about to share. And here's the quote. It's from, um, I think, a retired F1 driver now, but a legend in the sport, Arton Senna, A-Y-R-T-O-N-S-E-N-N-A. And he said this, you cannot overtake 15 cars. When he says overtake, he means pass, right? So you cannot overtake 15 cars in sunny weather, but you can when it's raining. I love that. You cannot overtake or you cannot pass 15 cars in sunny weather, but you can when it's raining. And what that translates to for me in this time, in this period of life, is that when everything's good, it's actually really difficult to get ahead. It's difficult to, you know, speaking from a business standpoint, 
It's difficult to get market share. It's difficult to launch new things. It's difficult because everyone else is doing good too. Everyone else has this ideal scenario where maybe there's a lot of cash in the, the markets. There's a lot of cash in the system. Consumer confidence is high. Everybody's buying. And so everybody's doing good. You know, I do a lot in the automotive industry and everybody, when everybody's doing good, everybody just kind of like lays off and like, well, it's nice out. Conditions are right. Everybody's just moving forward. It's very hard to take. You have to work really hard to take market share. You have to work really hard to gain customers. And, you know, in automotive anyway, when you get a customer, that means that that customer isn't going somewhere else. I guess that's like every business, right? If you're a restaurant, if a customer comes and eats at your restaurant, that means they can't eat at a different restaurant for the same meal. And so the thing is about when the situations change and when dynamics shift and when the everything is uneasy and uncertain and we have all these variables like it's raining now those who have been doing the work honing their skills paying attention to the market that have prepared in advance that are willing to take some risks well those are the people that now can pass 15 cars when they couldn't even pass one on a sunny day and this F1 driver, Art and Senna, says he sees the rainy day as an opportunity. So if you're behind, is actually you have the most opportunity when the situation has variables. Now, that doesn't mean that you're entitled to it, obviously, because in order to have the skill and energy and instinct to pass 15 cars, right, you have to have been honing that during the sunny weather. And during the sunny weather is sometimes the hardest time to grow because you kind of lay back because things are going good enough and the good times end up rolling right over your growth. And so this quote reminds me in this time as a business owner, as a person, right? And even, shoot, this is even true in relationships, right? When things are rough, when things are tough, when there's struggle, when there's conflict, that's actually the time when you can get much further ahead by doing the work to deploy humility and empathy. Right? You can make much more, uh, you can take much more ground in those moments because it's like a clutch moment. It's a meaningful moment. It's not just everything is okay. So I thought that that principle was a good one to share. It's a little bit of perspective that I've been kind of thinking through and inserting into my life in a time when there's just a lot of things that are changing, in a time when things seem uncertain. And, you know, maybe it's not like that for you right now, but it'd be hard to really escape that in this day and age in the economy. But this happens in all types of macro scenarios. So macro scenario being our environment, our economy, you know, the situation we're in as a country. Micro in your own life, Everybody has hard things happen and unfortunate things happen and surprising things happen. There's health issues, financial issues, you know, uh, family issues, relationship issues. You know, people get in car accidents, you know, and not talking, not even talking about a big car accident, like people hit stuff, right? All of these little things. So we have our micro things, micro rain. And all of these things give us the opportunity to grow in our lives. They give us the opportunity to get ahead. They give us the opportunity to go much further and make much more progress than we would have been able to if everything was just perfect. Now it's cool when things are just perfect. Those times are nice. But in light of everything we're going through as a country, in light of everything we're going through as a kind of global citizen with the economy, with all that stuff, I thought bringing this quote to give us a little perspective and a little clarity into our day would be helpful. And more than that, just good to remind myself when I make these shows, I'm talking to myself too. Thanks for spending some time with me here this week. If there's some rain going down, I hope you pass 15 cars today. I will see you next week. Until then, pursue that clarity. We came to fight.